Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Antarctica. Yeah, don't ask why we're in Antarctica. I just decided to, you know, catch a flight here. Can we make it to the South Pole, which is 1,934 kilometers away? I don't know what that is in miles, but it seems pretty far. Anyways, hit the like button and let's get going. Even in the cold, I can't escape looking like Waldo. So this is the very start of our journey. This should be interesting. This journey is gonna require a lot of parkour skills. We're gonna have to make a lot of jumps. We're gonna have to encounter so many different things along the way. Yeah, I'm totally not nervous. Those things are being held up by two wires. If those things snap, I might be in trouble. I've played this game before a while ago, but I honestly don't really know how to beat this. Ooh, that's a scary look looking jump. And what the heck happened to this bridge? Up the ladder we go. Up we go some more ladders. There are so many ladders here. How are these ladders even standing? That does not look safe at all. The frostbite spine. A prominent ridge with a vertebrae-like formation. Yada yada yada. I don't care. Actually, I kind of do care. That's kind of why I played this game. Look, I love nature. I love going in the outdoors. I love exploring. I love seeing what there is to offer. Oh, hello down there, you two little people. Ooh, Mount Lister, the highest peak in the Royal Society range. That mountain's higher over there. I feel lied to. I feel clickbaited. Look at this bridge. How is this safe for anyone to cross? I'd be terrified going across this thing. It's shaking too. Oh my yay yay yay. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. The wind pushes you left. Avoid jumping from the yellow ladder zone. Whoa. Jeez. Okay. We gotta be careful about that. You can fly right off. Oh god. Ah. Oh, gosh dang it. I keep messing it up. This is embarrassing. One eternity later. There we go. We've got it. Long way down. I don't want to look down. That is terrifying. I'm terrified. Icy ladder. No problem at all. I'll just bunny hop across. As easy as you like. Oh, that. I ate my own words there. I really did. I just took my words and ate them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Ooh, abandoned. Stay out and stay alive. Let's take the abandoned path. I like to be a little risky. I like to take risks in life. Uh, oh, come on. I think for my own sanity, we're gonna take the safe path this time because <laughs> I took the abandoned path and I immediately plummeted to my demise. Thankfully, the healthcare in Antarctica is absolutely amazing and I don't have to worry about you know, oofing or anything. Unlike that guy. Yeah, maybe that's why you don't take the abandoned path. Look, I love taking risks, but oh my goodness, I don't even know how I would have been able to do that. Is that a snowmobile? Dude. Dude, I got a snowmobile. Oh, 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 oh. This whole journey through Antarctica, worth it because I've got this freaking snowmobile, dude. There's a warning, but I ain't reading that. What does that sign say? Penguins up ahead? Dude, there's penguins in the way. Get out of the road or you're gonna get hit. I am a reckless driver and I don't have a snowmobile license. This is amazing. Aw, no more snowmobile. Avalanche hazard is high. Uh, meh, it'll be fine. My anxiety has just gone through the roof. I'm terrified. Please let there not be an avalanche here. That would be really bad. Oh, heck no. I'm not taking the abandoned path again. I'm taking the abandoned path again. Look, if it failed me once, it won't fail me again. Ooh, creepy, creepy, and I'm nervous. Avalanche. Eh, it's fine. Look, what the... Uh, what? What? Uh, uh? Huh? What just happened? What just happened? Huh? Hello? What the heck just happened? What the heck just happened? I think the avalanche spawned right on top of me. That was terrifying. It is windy up here. But who cares? We're making it to the top. Yep. Come on down, tiger triceratops. Let's get to the bottom of this mountain. It's a lovely place, but do I want to be here forever? No. Tiger's Triceratops, have you led us astray? This does not look like the path we were meant to take. We've gone in a loop-de-loop. -loop. A few moments later. And next time, Tiger Triceratops, let me lead the way. Wow, 16,069 meters up. Nice. Mmm, delicious H2O. Oh my goodness, it is negative 90 degrees, and I don't have gloves on. I don't think I can feel my hands after this, honestly. I, I just... Ugh. Do they have ants in Antarctica? Why is it called Antarctica? But I haven't seen any ants. That's fant. 
Fantastic. Oh my god, that was actually a terrible joke. Why did I even? Let's see if we can get to the South Pole by sundown. It's 7 a.m. right now. Risky path ahead. Don't mind if I do. I'm surprised we haven't seen any polar bears along our journey. Oh wait, polar bears don't live in the South Pole. They live in the North Pole. Forget I just said anything. I... Uh, I said nothing. You just imagined me saying that. Add a little jump a rooski, jump a do, jump a re, jump a bop, and jump a boop. I fell. What's that up ahead? Is that another icy ladder? Whew, how many icy ladders are we gonna have? Can somebody please clean those off and, you know, melt the ice or something? Not all the ice. Oh, hello there, Steven. How you doing? Meh, he's, he's, he's just, he's just sleeping. He's, He's relaxed right now. Nothing bad happened. How are these ladders standing up? I really just want to know how. They just stuck them into the side of Antarctica and they are structurally sound to carry a human across without even shaking. That's good craftsmanship if I've ever seen it. Penguins up ahead. Um, those aren't penguins. That's a plane. Is anyone home? No. The answer is no. When does the sun go down in Antarctica? Does it even go down? Well, I mean, yes, it obviously does, because it has been going down in this game, but, like, the closer you are to the poles, sometimes the sun just doesn't go down, or sometimes it doesn't come up for, like, six months. I don't know how science works. I, I don't know anything, to be quite honest with you. My knowledge comes from just winging it. A storm has arrived. Be careful. Ah. Uh, Careful is my middle name. Call me Nev Careful Plays. I like to take risks in life. <laughs> Yoo-hoo, anything out here? Hello? <gasps> is that the South Pole? South Pole, South Pole, South Pole, South Pole. I want to touch it. I want to lick it. Oh, look, I got my little flag here. Yeah, America. There's two American flags because, I don't know, freedom or something. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard South Pole Airways destination, uh, I don't know. South Dakota, I guess. We're going to all the places named South. So we'll go to South Korea. We'll go to South Carolina. We'll go to South Dakota. We'll go to South, 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 South. South. Wait, who's flying this thing? Bro, there's no pilot. Well, that's terrifying, but this view is certainly not. Look at that. I can wave to all the people down there. Hello. Oh, look at you. You're still doing the expedition. Gosh, I finished that two minutes ago. Ha, <laughs> amateurs. Why are we flying so close to the mountain, by the way? I feel like that's that's a little dangerous. I'm not gonna ask questions to the pilot who doesn't even exist. This thing's being flown by some AI or whatever. Oh, wow. That sun is shining right in my face, but that is beautiful. Well, hey, you know what? We did make it to the South Pole before sundown. That's for sure. So I guess challenge completed. I thought we were going to South Dakota. You know, this might still be South Dakota. Are those the Northern Lights? Wait, we're in the South. Why would that be? All right, cool. We made it. Uh, I'm not gonna be paying you anything, Mr. Pilot. So we made it to the South Pole and then back. Be sure to click the like button if you want to see more exploration games like this. Maybe we could go climb Mount Everest next. Who knows? 